Uh, he's Bill Fleckenstein, a familiar face on our program. He's the president of Fleckenstein Capital. And uh, Bill, good to see you yet again. And, uh, you know, I know that recently in uh, one of your columns, you were talking about steel prices and you were saying, look, this may be what is to come. You've been on this inflation call for quite some time. Well, you know, uh, thanks for having me back, Betty and uh, Adam. Um, the when we when you print gigantic amounts of money as we have done and the world has done generally what you see is you get some inflation now when we printed too much money in the late 90s we had a stock bubble and that was perceived to be okay until it collapsed mm -hmm. and then when we tried to clean up the ma that mess we wound up with a real estate bubble and a credit bubble and of course that was a bigger disaster that led to all this money printing while we were in the, it, as that collapse took place and in the in the wake of that collapse people have been fearing deflation you know as house prices um, have collapsed and and uh, economic activity went to zero now as the economic activity is picked back up because of this monstrous amount of money printing right. you're starting to see rising prices rising prices I mean sorry money printing leads to writing rising prices especially since parts of the world that are growing like Asia are running our monetary policy Right, but then, uh, you know, for instance, uh, the trader that we just talked with, the CME, was talking about how uh, so far, though, equity investors aren't worried about inflation because if you saw in the jobs report, for instance, Bill, right, uh, you saw a decline in hourly wages, that could be an indication that we're still in a deflationary environment or that we are no, in a deflationary no. Betty, environment. Betty, 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 listen. Yes. It, it, the, 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 it may or may not get in the wage chain, uh, and if it gets into the wage chain, it will be much further down the road. Okay, but we can. That doesn't stop the price of what you see: steels going up, different, you know, uh, uh, insurance costs, healthcare costs. There's costs of lots of things going up, and just because we didn't see any uh, wage pressure in the employment report Friday, doesn't really mean anything. Hmm. Okay, so the bond investors are right in your view right now. The equity investors are in for an ugly awakening in your view? Well, you know, and, and that's the other point of it. Just because the equity investors aren't worried about something doesn't mean it's not about to happen. In you know, equity investors were completely oblivious to these to the uh, equity bubble and, and when it burst. Uh, I'm sorry, the equity bubble back in 2000 and the real estate bubble. So just because a market isn't focused on something doesn't mean it's going not going to happen.